So when we think about AI strategy, um, let's first uh, get something off the table. So AI strategy is not a sum of use cases. And we see that all too often that uh, a roadmap consists of crowdsourced or bottom-up sourced use cases from existing functions, existing teams, and they then get prioritized and roadmapped. Uh, and that is uh, the AI uh, strategy. That is an AI roadmap. Uh, but in our minds, not uh, a strategy. So what is a strategy for us, uh, at least, is a coherent blueprint of how to win in an AI native world. So if we unpack that for a minute, it starts with um, forming an idea, a vision of what that AI native world is in your industry, how your consumers uh, will, will change, how market dynamics will change in your industry, then creating a coherent blueprint uh, of how to win uh, in that world, what role you want to play within that, and then from that building a roadmap uh, and a plan uh, towards that. So if we work through this uh, step by step, um, this is the AI strategy uh, framework that we use uh, in, in our work, which starts with the AI market drivers at the top, the elements of the AI strategy itself, the AI roadmap, and then the AI enablers. But I'll uh, quickly take you through uh, all of them. Um, before that, just wanted to highlight two uh, important principles uh, for us. And the first one being that this is an outside-in approach. So we see a lot of strategies starting from uh, the current way of working and adopting an inside-out uh, approach. So we deliberately start from what are uh, the AI market drivers, what will change in your industry because of AI, what won't change, and then using that as an outside-in view to um, form your strategy against. And then the second principle, which is super important, uh, is a future back approach. So rather than a present forward approach, where again, you start from the current way of working and just deploying AI into that current way of working, is that you imagine what the new system would be in that wave three. Uh, for your function, for your company, or whatever the context is that you're operating in, and then working backwards from that so that each step you take in wave one and wave two builds up towards the vision of wave three, rather than just optimizing the current way of working, which might completely be irrelevant uh, in one or two years from now. So an outside-in view and a future-back approach uh, to strategy.